one of the most popular people on the planet. And in September 2020, he returned to Twitch with a multi-year live streaming deal. 40 million fans worldwide. And Team Ninja Apparel's got a new Team Ninja hoodie that's out there on the market that we'll be talking about with Ninja himself back here on the Rich Eisen Show. How are you, brother? Dude, I'm doing good. How are you guys? I'm doing fine. So if, if I, I could put you in a DeLorean, in a, in a uh, Back to the Future DeLorean and change a sporting a, a moments of your sports past that you could change, go back in time and say, don't do this because it would lead to the misery that you, you suffered as a sports fan otherwise. What would that be, Ninja? Uh, that? Dude, I'd go back in time, man, and I would tell the ref to, to, to not pick up the flag uh, against the Dallas Cowboys uh, in the playoffs. Against the, uh, against the Lions. I like it. Th- that is on, good. Man. That was passing. Like, no, you're going to leave that flag on the ground. Don't you pick that up? That was the right call, you little. <laughs> Careful, <now. laughs> Careful, we're on. We're in a family show. But I appreciate the moxie. I appreciate the moxie. Uh, but I'd love that's a fan. That. That's See, a fan. What better way? Okay, you could also tell you to know, go back in time and tell Barry Sanders just just stick around a little longer. Don't worry about it. Yeah, we, give we, a couple more years. We could please. do that. But I love that shows off. That's that's how deep a Lions fan you are. Because that was you. You had him. You had him. Ninja. Dude, we did, man. And, like, we were a good team. I think we've always been a good team. We've always had good talent, right? I, that's one thing that's really frustrating being a Lions fan all these years is, like, we, we see these top players on our team, right? Megatron uh, right now with uh, Galladay and Stafford, obviously, just always been an animal. Now he's fully healthy. Um, and just to not succeed when you have the talent, you have the weapons, it, it can be frustrating. So when, when we were actually doing really well that year, man, and that game was ours to win, it's frustrating, bro. I, I I could feel it. I could sense it. How are you a Lions fan uh, when you're from Chicago, right? Is this your original? Yeah, so my, my parents were, they raised uh, two of my brothers before I was born in Detroit. They were in Detroit for a while. Um, so my dad was a Lions fan. And then when I was born, right when I was born, we moved uh, over to Illinois. So my brother, my oldest brother, John, was, you know, uh, I think he was like, what, like 11, 12, 13. Eventually, he like he was old enough to know and, you know, kind of become his own fan, right? And then he was a Lions fan. And then my dad was like, you know what, screw this. Lions, you know, suck. They, they never win. Uh, I'm going to be a Bears fan because he lived in Illinois for, you know, 15-some years now. It's like, you know, at what point is it like not a sellout or a bandwagon move to switch teams? Yes. And I feel like, you know, that's, a, that's, a, that's, that's pretty solid, right? You live in the state for 15 years or something like that. You can become a fan, if, especially if your team is not performing or they're just, you don't like the way their team is being run. So my brother stayed a Lions fan. I eventually, eventually loved watching football. John pulled me into this bar in uh, in Michigan and Wisconsin. Or, sorry, not in Michigan. In Wisconsin while we were actually going to college together for a year. Right. And, uh, you know, he was having a beer. I had a root beer. And we watched the Lions play. And, you know, he gave me a jersey. And it was, it was the coolest thing ever. It was the only Lions bar uh, <laughs> in, in all of Wisconsin that, that we knew of. Um, and it was just such a cool experience. So, and that's how I became a Lions fan ever since. A Lions fan in the heart of Packers country, uh, yeah. in a bar, yeah, in a yeah. Lions bar. I've never. That is, oh my God, I've never could yeah, imagine that there's it, a it, Lions it bar. Chewy's bar. Um, and he actually uh, he had cancer. And he, he ended up um, passing from it. But he was just he was the nicest guy. And uh, you know, it was a small bar. It was just a really cool thing. I've got so. nin- I've got Ninja here uh, on the Rich Eisen show, but you know, no matter what you can conjure up uh, for what's cool and your love of the NFL and all the cool things that you've been able to achieve already in life, what in the world was it like being part of that NFL 100 Super Bowl commercial? You were you were the only one not related technically to the NFL, a prominent sports celebrity that wasn't Correct. a player or a Hall of Famer. What in the hell was it like to be in that room with all those Hall of Famers for that commercial that just lit up the Super Bowl? What was that like? It was pretty terrifying, man. Like I, I, I absolutely love football. So being in there, I'm standing like it was. It was so weird at first. Sorry, um, it was so weird at first. Like I, I kind of just got thrown into like the day of filming. Right, the, like everyone was already sitting down. They've been filmed. They've done a bunch of a uh, of shots already. I, I came in pretty much. I was like the last scene, right? Like the last part of the of the day of filming, and and everyone's already you know situated and they've done a bunch of their shots already and and, and, to, and to, to walk in and i like see all these legends i was freaking out i was freaking out they were just all like walking by me right because they're all kind of like going to their positions and stuff like that and i i think i only had one person with me who was like telling me where to go um <laughs> and it was by a director that i love Peter Berg. so like so first time working with this i'm like so the entire day was insane and and the commercial i again honestly i lost her words right like i knew i didn't really i don't want to say i didn't belong there 
but like obviously right i wasn't i have no affiliation with the nfl or any of of, of the nfl 100 or anything like that so to be a part of it it was just it was a blessing man it was um it was an honor and i'm just happy that uh you know happy that it went it went over well it and, sure uh, did everyone was just super nice was sanders was barry there uh on the day of your uh, shoot I, I don't no, I didn't see Barry. I didn't see Barry there. I don't think he was there on that day of filming. So who was there? What what, what other players um, were there that you saw? Uh, Pey- uh, Peyton was there. I saw uh, freaking <laughs> on my yeah, no, Juju. Yeah, me and Juju. Uh, That's right. Love him. Juju was there um, too. That's right. He was in the commercial. Oh yeah, dude. Me and Juju. I feel like me and Juju. We always end up uh, together filming, man. Uh, well, but yeah, I- I'm try- hang on. I'm trying to think of uh, Marshawn Lynch, Skittles, dude. Uh, when he ca- like when he came up to me. This is the first time we met Matt, and we ended up doing something with Fortnite related too later right. uh, after this. But like, I was behind everyone with the director and with everyone like watching one of the scenes being filmed, and like, and he wasn't in it, but he's back there, and they're, they're they were watching one of the games that were going on, uh, and he like walks up to me super slowly and just goes, Marshawn, like and like stick his hand out to like give me a handshake. I was like, <laughs> I know who you are, bro. I was like, beast mode, man. And he just starts smiling and, like, walks back and sits down and keeps watching the game. So I was like, holy – sorry. Dude, that's okay. <laughs> no, that's, you know, it's amazing. Like, if you're somebody that basically could just shake – just put your hand out and just say your first name, and they, you also <laughs> know – you know they, you, you know that they must know it, too. That's so – that's such a great Marshawn story. But, I mean, J- Juju's a big Twitch guy, right? Like, who's the NFL guy oh, who's yeah. who's the best at Fortnite that you that you would actually get in, in a run for your money uh, NFL and anything gaming at all, Ninja? Anybody? I, I don't know about I don't know about a run for my money, man. Okay. But I do know that Juju's a big gamer, like, and he actually plays a lot. Uh, and I think that Mahomes Mahomes is is a, is a big gamer too. Austin Eckler, but, uh, I right? I know I Eckler's got his own setup. I know Austin's out there quite a bit. Um, I'm yeah, wondering dude, if- a lot of the tight, a lot of tight ends, a lot of um, freaking linebackers too, honey. Who uh, uh, Bach from uh, he, yeah, Debach is he still on the Packers or he's on yeah, Debach. I mean, he's a he, he absolutely loves gaming. He's gaming all the time. He's always hitting up Jeff. I was, Blake yeah, Blake Martinez as well, who's now on the he's Giants. on the Giants. Yeah, exactly. Who's 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 uh, who's helping you with the answers here, Ninja? Uh, my helping? beautiful wife, who's a diehard Packers fan. Okay, what does she think about tonight? Oh boy. Well, I mean, what you guys? I think um, we actually just got off the phone with one of it with our agency, and they asked that just the same question. Like, who's who's even going to be your running back today? Um, <laughs> is that a fantasy question? Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Is that a fantasy question for you, Ninja? Is that a fantasy? Oh, oh absolutely, huge fantasy. I'm getting railed in fantasy right now. By the way, just this year, I've been like super distracted, so uh, I haven't really been keeping up with with like my my roster. Essentially, you know, the waiver wire picks are, are non-existent. Uh, except I will say I have Lamar Jackson. I was like, dude, you know, this is going to be fine, man. I drafted it. I was like, I got Lamar Jackson. Yeah. He'll pretty much carry me through every single victory, and he has not been performing. Last week um, was a rough one, man. Last week yeah. was a rough one. Who are, who are you in a fantasy w- league with, Ninja? Who else? Okay, Anybody so I got there? two leagues. I got a family league, which um, I okay. absolutely love. Two of my brothers and a lot of their our closest friends. A mm-hmm. uh, little small pool. Everyone puts in, like, you know, 50 bucks, and, and it's, you know, top of their pays out. It's always fun. It's like my fourth year doing it. Uh, and then I have a league with Juju. Juju has a, his league on uh, over on the Sleeper app, and that one is always interesting. Uh, everyone's just always talking to each other in the in the freaking chat. So hold on a second. So so so, how can you be in a fantasy league with a football player? Doesn't he get some sort of an advantage knowing you know <laughs> matchups and you know? He and- always picks himself first. <laughs> Come on! No, he does man. not. He does not. He does not. <laughs> yeah, I'm like 99 percent sure Juju has picked himself first in back-to-back years. Let me check to make sure he actually <laughs> picked himself again this year. Well, uh, I mean, two, and I, I and I love the kid. I love him, but he 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 killed his own fantasy team last year if he chose himself first. Yeah, <laughs> I, yeah, 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 I, yeah. I say that with the utmost of love and respect. He, it it's was just a bad man. year like, with his quarterback like, and everything. I mean, oh my, yeah. that's so funny. He picks himself first in his <laughs> fantasy league. I mean, I why not? If you're, if you're why in a, not, you right? Gotta, if you're you got to be your biggest fan, you got to believe in yourself. Right. I mean, if you if you were had a fantasy league for what you do, you'd choose yourself first, right? I mean, one hundred percent. You have to. Because I definitely picked up. I'm on the phone with Ninja right here. I definitely picked up when I said which player would give you a run for your money. You, you didn't even give me any any at all you did not stutter not a single nfl player would give you a run for your money in your world correct
<laughs> what about a celebrity gamer? I know that you've been out there uh, what, <clears throat> with Drake, right? Um, Ellen, yeah, Jimmy Fallon. Uh, anybody? Uh, anybody can give you a run for your money dude. on that? Mm-hmm. I would say that the DJ, um, he's really good at video games. Uh, he's been playing Valorant a lot recently, uh, okay. which is a, one of Riot's new games that came out, and he's really good at that. Um, like, actually, like, top, like, 1% of, of ranked uh, in the world, which is, you know, nothing to nothing to laugh at. Um, so, yeah, I mean, there are a lot of, there are a lot of, like, closet gamers, too, still, right, that don't don't really even say how much they game, but... Uh, okay. And then Off I, the top of my head, no. I let me flip the script really. then. Who's the worst celebrity? Who's the one like, come on, Ooh. what are we doing here? What are you doing here? <laughs> that happened? The worst celebrity. Dude, Diplo, man. He's awful. He's <laughs> like, God, awful. Yeah, man. Why? <laughs> what, what's so bad just, about Diplo? I do. He's like, I mean, he's, he's much older now, right? I mean, he's like, what, like four, he's in like his, like, and that's not, Careful. It, that's not an age joke. Careful. I don't, personally don't think that people fall off. <laughs> my wife is digging a hole right now. That's right. Um, <laughs> I'm 51, uh, okay, but I'm. Just, I would. He loves games, but like he's right. not a gamer. Like he just, you know right. what I mean. So he's he's too busy making the number one hits. All right, let's talk about your your apparel, the latest Team Ninja hoodie, um, unlike any other hoodie, uh, because yes. it's got the patent pending technology enhancing audio experience, even with the hood covering the user's head. What's going on here, Ninja? What do you got for me? Yeah, man. Um, as a so this this was inspired in many ways. Um, as a gamer, I've been gaming my entire life, and as someone who has ha- had like fans, even though I'm much bigger now than I was ten years ago, I was still streaming ten years and had people who would come up to me in the airports. Um, this is like a anyone and everyone can use this and will use this and will love to use this. Um, I've always sometimes it's cold. You want to put your headset on, but like you don't want to put your headset on over your hood because it's gonna you know the sound isn't gonna be as good. So it's like well. You know, like let's fix this problem. I'll, you know, so I think more details will be released as, as like the design comes out. I think I can't. Can I just? Yeah. So basically, you just put the headphones on and it doesn't distort the sound at all. Um, there's this awesome, cool mesh uh, where it, the sound just goes right through, travels right through. It looks good, um, feels good, super comfy hoodie, and it's super basic design. So, uh, you know, I, I think a lot of people are gonna love it. They'll be available on TeamNinja.com on November 25th. Mesh ear holes built right into the hood, so everybody can uh, wear it when they love to rock the over-the-ear headphones with their, their their hoodies up. And and the hoodie being up is is a choice, right? I mean, like, is that is that a is that an intimidation method? Do you think? Oh, absolutely, man. I mean, yeah? people come in like I, I've been, you know, competitive my entire life in, in esports and also in in you know soccer, right? And when you show up. Into the into it, you know the tournament that you're going into, right? Or the match you're going into, and everyone's yeah. just rocked up, hoods up, zoned in. Right. You know what I mean? I mean you're watching, you tune into the football games, you see the guys come out of the freaking stadium, right? They're coming out of their, uh, you know, the, the tunnel, like you know, in pregame, warming up, and they got their hoods up, and they got their headphones on over their hoods, or they got their headphones on, and you just like you just see them zoned in, right? That tunnel vision. It can be pretty intimidating. So. So I guess the the, the ultimate thing for you, Ninja, as uh, in terms of marketing, would get Belichick to wear one of these, right? That would be the that would be the home run, correct? Right? Dude, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna cut off the sleeves, man, yeah. of the hood. I'm gonna, I'm gonna you know, right around, right at his bicep. I'm gonna send it to him, like, hey, man, you can wear this. Yeah, and you should say it's you should say it's for your gaming, and then he'll be like, what do you mean, Sunday? But that that's what it is. Sunday, absolutely. That's what it'd be. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. As if you need any extra help. You're uh, good. Before I let you go, my kids would not be pleased with me. And I do have a best that ever uh, sign right in front of me here on my desk. Uh, they would not be happy with me if I did not ask you about your masked singer appearance as the ice cream cone. How did you choose that? Uh, Ninja, the ice yeah. cream cone. What about that? OK, so we got we had a couple of designs that they came with us uh-huh. um, and they wanted it to ring true. to obviously, you know, me make it as, you know, uh, that's what I'm looking for. Organic as possible. Yes. Right? I was like, yeah, I absolutely love mm-hmm. sweets. I'm the biggest sweet tooth on the planet. So, okay. yeah, we'll take ice cream cone for sure uh, for the mascot. And I, I I wouldn't have even done that if my wife didn't sign me up and, and basically say that I was going to do it. Uh, it was one of those things where, like, she got an email. She was interested. I was, she's like, Tyler, what do you think? I was like, uh, I don't know. I was kind of nervous. Like, I don't know. Like, I'll think about it. 
And literally the next morning, she's like, yeah, you're doing it. And then we had a phone call with them. It was like, I mean, dude, there were like voice lessons and everything. It was a wow. whole thing. Now, yeah. now who, was, who, who chose the soundtrack of Devo's Whip It and then, of course, the famed Old Town Road? Who chose that? Is that you, your wife, um, or is that, is that your... What, I think uh, that? we chose... We, I chose Old Town Road when okay. it was the, the, the voice actor was... Uh, or voice actor. Um, mm-hmm. Voice coach said that my, my voice would be better with, like, a lower pitch... Uh, so, and so I was like, all right, we'll do all the time. Right, I love Lil Nas. He's a, he's amazing, and and then Whip It was just like the play on words for the you know ice cream. So oh, yeah, I have to play to my okay. playful nature, you know. Now Whip It. You know? <laughs> Ninja, I love this chat, man. Um, everybody should check out uh, the new hoodie that's coming out uh, from uh, Ninja. The latest Team Ninja hoodie will be available on TeamNinja.com starting on November 25th. Good luck to your wife's Packers tonight. Good luck. Uh, luck yeah. to your Lions moving forward. And remember, uh, when everything posts about this interview, it's at Rich Eisen Show for you to tag, Ninja, okay? Awesome. Got it, man. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me on. I really appreciate it. I had a great talk. Right guys. back at you. That's uh, Ninja. That's uh, Tyler Blevins, a.k.a. Ninja, right here on the Rich Eisen Show. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.